Chances are that you've been in a situation like this one. A colleague builds a beautiful case to support his recommendation. Then comes the relentless questioner who pummels him with questions that seem to have nothing to do with his core message. And the colleague limps to a close as if, as if he's been attacked by warplanes rather than just stung by a BB gun. If you haven't experienced this in real life, you've certainly seen it in a TV press conference. People ask hostile questions for any number of reasons. They disagree with what you said, or they have wrong information, or you've not established credibility with them, they've misunderstood you, they think they're saving the day for everyone else or their organization, or maybe their personality makes them always look for the cloud in every silver lining. Or maybe they're just angry and they're taking it out on you. Whatever the reason, your presentation success and your credibility often rides on your ability to remain unruffled and walk away from that situation on a positive note with an air of confidence. Let me give you a few tips that can help you do just that. One, rephrase a legitimate question minus the hot words and the hostile tone. If the question is something like this, why are you demanding that we submit these forms with an approved signature? I think that's totally unreasonable. Just try rephrasing it to emphasize its validity and then respond. Why do we think the form should have an approval signature? Well, first of all, the approval signature allows us to. You see, you've just taken out the hot words. Don't feel that you have to refute an opposing view in great detail, particularly if that hostile view is not well supported itself. Simply comment, no, I don't think that's the case. No elaboration is necessary. Your answer will sound authoritative and final. It'll make the asker appear rude and argumentative if he or she rephrases and continues. And then upgrade the tone. Avoid matching hostility with hostility. Try to maintain a congenial tone in body language. The audience almost always will side or at least respect and empathize with the person who remains calm and courteous. Keep in mind that how you answer questions will be remembered more clearly and for much longer than what you say. And another tip, acknowledge and accept feelings behind the question. Try to determine possible reasons for that hostility. By acknowledging and legitimizing the feelings of the asker, you may diffuse the hostility and you may help the other person receive your answer in a more open manner. Here's some examples. Examples of responses when that hostility comes your way. It sounds as though you've been through some very difficult delays with that supplier. Or, I don't blame you for feeling as you do, given the situation you describe. Or, I'm just glad that's been the exception rather than the rule in working with this audit group. Those let the person vent the experience without acknowledging maybe that you're at fault. And another tip, state your own experience and opinion. People can argue with your statistics, with your data, with your surveys, with your facts, indefinitely. They do it all the time with politicians. But they can't argue with your experience. It's yours, not theirs. And you've listened and acknowledged their opinion and their feelings. Feel free to end by stating your own in a non-confrontational way. My experience has been different. Based on X, Y, and Z, it's my opinion that this approach will work in our situation. Then break eye contact and move ahead. Your audience will take their final cues from you. Make them positive.